What is up, Blazers, and welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. Yes, it's me in the middle of the European Union. Crazy, I know, but it's happened. <laughs> Yes, guys, check it out. I love San Francisco so much. Beautiful, it's amazing. <laughs> so yes, guys, Portugal is the country that I'm moving to, and I'm currently here for about two weeks, and I'm, you know, looking for an apartment, trying to settle in, and obviously, guys, yes, you know me, I'm the smartest person in the world, so obviously I've chosen Lisbon, the place with one of the worst rental situations in the world right now, because there's so much digital nomads and expats here, right? They're driving the prices up and making it crazy, and uh, I've come in to uh, join the pack, and uh, yes, guys, I really hate myself. But yeah, guys, that is actually not a joke because I did get here through a digital nomad visa, essentially from my YouTube, which is a business, which is a job. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, I work. Now, you guys may know that since I'm a Russian citizen who's left Russia right after the start of the uh, special operation, I ended up in a very bad situation where essentially I had to also go through another country to get here in the first place and first get a residency in a different country before coming here. So it was insane. It was a whole mess. And I'll make a documentary in this channel about how I actually ended up in Europe as a Russian citizen who's left Russia. It's quite interesting. I've been recording stuff throughout the entire year. But anyway, a lot of people probably are wondering why I ended up choosing Portugal as a place to move. First of all, no, I have never been to Portugal. Portugal before just like when I moved to Georgia I have never been to that country either so uh, you know this is the life of an immigrant <laughs> or of a digital nomad expat you know billionaire which I'm not the reason is actually quite simple first of all Portugal just had a pretty decent visa program which basically just fit me so second reason actually and I don't even know if this is gonna happen or not but you guys gotta understand that obviously currently right now you know I hold a Russian citizenship and you know the Russian passport right now isn't the greatest in the world and what Portugal does have is actually a program where you can obtain Portuguese citizenship if essentially you live here on a uh, residency visa for like five six years or so so uh, who knows, you know, five, six years is a long time. I don't know what's going to be happening in my life, but uh, that would be nice. You know, it would be nice to have a passport of a European country. And also, guys, uh, I don't know, they have they have tickets here in Portugal. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I've already said that Lisbon is known for having, you know, not the greatest situation regarding uh, rental apartments and everything. So I've already done my, you know, uh, share of uh, searching. And uh, once again, guys, yes, I have to raise my, you know, psychological limits to how much I can pay, essentially. You always have to sort of do that. You know, when I was renting an apartment in my hometown of Chelyabinsk, that was like $250 a month or something. Absolutely, you know, jokes. That's how much people spend on utilities here or something. Then we went to 800 bucks a month in Georgia. Uh, you know, when I was renting during peak, people leaving Russia season. And uh, here we're going over like a thousand a month, a thousand euros a month or something. So uh, yes, guys, that's life. You know, that's why we're grinding out here and uh, making content. 24 7 <laughs> that's a lie but uh there's a lot of things that go in so you know moving and everything and i would say guys honestly immigration is work it's taking your time to sort of you know adapt and uh learn your ways around the place and obviously you know taking your time to deal with the bureaucracy and everything of moving this all takes a lot of energy mental physical a lot of time as well so yes immigration is work and uh, i'm just really happy that uh i can turn my immigration into content for you guys so that's pretty good as well but uh now, also a lot of people have uh, asked me, why did I even move to Europe in the first place? You know, European Union, why is this such a big deal for me? Well, that was essentially my kind of goal from the start, you know, because there's a lot of places to move in the world, you know, Asia, Middle East, like whatever, you know, you can go whatever. But I wanted to be in the European Union, first of all, because once again, I've been deprived of the joy of traveling to most of European Union for my entire life. First time I ever went to the European Union, it was in 2019. But then in 2020, that basically stopped and I've never had a chance since. So uh, it's been my dream for a while now. And I actually wanted to be in a position where I would be in a European country and I would essentially have the freedom to take a plane, you know, Ryanair, whatever, and fly anywhere. And also obviously for this channel, for the vlogs, that would be great. So you know what's not great for vlogs? These planes flying around. No, I'm sorry guys, sorry for screaming, it's just that uh, we had to pause off camera like 10 times now because another interesting thing about here in Lisbon is that they have their airport pretty much right in the middle of the city center. Not really, but very close to the city, so you're gonna be hearing planes quite a lot, so uh, something to consider as well when you're renting your apartment. But yeah, it's kind of uh, disrespectful, that might sound a little bit, but... I almost kind of didn't care which EU country I'm going to end up in ultimately. And I kind of chose, you know, where I'm going to move to based just on the visa program, essentially. But I like Portugal, you know. 
I'm very excited to learn about this country and uh, you know, it's fucking beautiful. We're kind of far away from there, but yes guys, there's water and stuff and uh, there's waves and uh, the ocean and everything, cool stuff. You know, I haven't been out of Lisbon yet, but obviously, hopefully very, very soon, we're gonna be going on road trips and checking everything out. So uh, hopefully I will learn Portuguese as well because uh, I just want to learn it for all the Brazilians to watch my channel. That's what I want to do, honestly. But uh, <laughs> myself as a Russian who's moving here to, you know, Western Europe, Southern Europe, I actually have quite a lot of anxiety about sort of, you know, whether I fit in here or kind of, you know, just the thought of, am I even going to be able to make it here? Or if this, you know, sort of lifestyle of, you know, the cost of living here is even, you know, affordable for me and what whatsoever, you know? Is this really, you know, am I really even supposed to be out here? Can I afford it? You know, like, what is, is it, is this even like a plausible option for me? Is this even like a sustainable thing long term? These are all, you know, anxieties and worries you have as somebody who's uh, moving to you know Western Europe to the West from uh, Eastern Europe from a uh, less affluent part of the world let's say you know so Suka <laughs> Gun <Gunbon. laughs> well, guys I'm not exaggerating these fuckers are ruining this video every three minutes <laughs> I'll try to scream over the plane. Anyway, when you live in the post-Soviet walls, you know that the cost of living in the West is way, way more expensive. And, uh, you know, I'm not the poorest guy ever. I'm a YouTuber, you know, I have this, you know, YouTube channel and stuff. And even still, taking into account the rent here in Lisbon, taking into account the taxes also, which is something that you need to consider too, because we're all used to taxes being low in Eastern Europe, you know. When I used to have my business in Russia, my taxes were 6%. In Georgia, the taxes are quite literally 1% absolute Wakanda you know but uh here I don't even know what it's gonna be it's gonna be like 40 50 I mean <laughs> it's Jover so uh I have a lot of anxiety where I'm like damn is my you know Soviet ass actually gonna afford to live here you know with all the rents and all the taxes and you know the raised expenses of cost of living essentially etc etc but actually to be quite honest I've spent you know already a week here in Lisbon and the price is actually okay and I would even say a ton of groceries here are actually way cheaper than they are in Georgia which is quite interesting I'm very happy with all the European stuff because when I walk in here in uh, supermarkets you know and I look at all the cheeses and uh, all the types of meats and stuff they have I'm like and my eyes are like I like I don't know what to choose like it's crazy my my Soviet fucking gulag fucking food stamp doktorska kalbasa eating ass is like uh very surprised by the amount of like products you have here in Europe I mean you guys are living in abundance you gotta understand this okay when I come here in a supermarket I'm like Jesus fucking Christ this is insane but yeah, like I said, groceries here are actually more affordable than I expected. And also, one thing that surprised me about Lisbon in particular is actually the price of taxis, which are actually pretty cheap. And uh, all I'm saying is it's not as ridiculously expensive as I expected. So uh, that's nice. But yeah, ultimately, I think I've made the correct decision because first of all, I'm ready to sacrifice my, so to say, higher standard of living or lesser expenses for life in Europe essentially because uh, I have my own reasons for this once again first of all it's important for me to be in the European Union to be able to travel and also second of all once again being in the European Union is probably the most safe place for you know a sort of INSIZ Russian to be in right now and uh, you know Portugal I feel like is a great place and you know yeah since I've come here I felt really welcomed people are really nice you know and everything and uh, obviously guys what's also great is that I'm literally on the uh, western edge of Europe as far away from Russia as possible, so uh, that is exciting. <laughs> Here's something funny, by the way, guys. I bought this uh, this like denim shirt here, basically in a thrift store, right? It's in Lisbon, and uh, so I bought it. I didn't look at it really that much, and I go in and check what it uh, actually is, and here it says that uh, it's made in Russia. So um, you cannot even make this up, guys. It's like. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know what this is, but it's made in Russia. And it's kind of ironic, right, that I bought a thing that is made in Russia in Portugal, whereas a lot of the clothes that I wear in my daily life actually say made in Portugal on them. So uh, I came to Portugal to buy Russian clothes. Incredible. So yes, and now once again, my plan is to find an apartment still there, still trying to do that. <laughs> And after once I actually settled down here in Portugal, I mean, what is my plan? You know, to be a model citizen here, to, you know, abide by the rules, uh, to pay taxes, you know. I'm gonna be trying to be a very, uh, a very thorough and a very responsible immigrant, which is what I've actually been doing so far. So, uh, and yes, I'm just very excited to enjoy this new freedom. Once again, I've been, you know, looking for this and waiting for this for such a long time now. And uh, my time in Georgia was great. You know, I found so many great people there, you know, many great experiences. It made me a man, honestly. 
my first move to another country made me a man now the second one is gonna make me a happy man hopefully <laughs> and yes you know portugal just like any other country when you move in here there's advantages and there's disadvantages you know each country has them and there's no perfect country out there and really what i found throughout the years of you know being in different countries and uh spending some time in them is the truth it really is uh in our modern world is that you can live pretty fine everywhere as long as you have money <laughs> so that's why we're gonna be grinding hard and uh yes it's not all sunshine and roses at the end of the day you know i still obviously miss my homeland and uh my friends and family and everything and it's you know sometimes it gets sad and you know you feel like you're out here in some random ass place you know you just don't belong and you don't know anybody but and obviously you know you're here you kind of uh on the edge of the world you don't know nobody it feels strange it feels strange being an immigrant but uh you know that's you know what life is all about so we're here to learn that earth is our home not countries that's <laughs> That's the, uh, you know, cosmopolitan outlook I'm trying to have. And uh, the more countries I live in, the more at peace I kind of feel in any foreign country in a sense, because you kind of start understanding how every, all the people everywhere are the same and everything. You know, it's, it's really interesting. Yeah, I just hope uh, all of this can be turned into a positive experience, nevertheless, at the end of the day. And uh, thank you guys for watching my channel. Please keep watching so that I can fund my immigration. Because I need to make like, <laughs> I need to make like 4,000 euros minimum per month or something on this uh, digital nomad visa program, actually. And uh, it's a task on its own. So uh, yes, you know, guys, I will try to grind and also use the powers of e-bagging to fund my immigration to Europe. So uh <laughs> I don't know, hopefully I'm gonna be fine and uh, I think I'm not gonna end up uh, homeless under a bridge somewhere, you know, that would be great as well. <laughs> but yes, guys, smash the like on this video as always and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. How do you say bye in Portuguese? I don't know. I don't know. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not right. All right, bye. <laughs>